Okay, in the last video I asked you to add the code behind the text green command button. What you should have added is the name of the object, in this case label text area, dot for color, which is the property, equals RGB, open brackets, red, green, blue, don't forget. We don't want any red. We want the green to be set up at the maximum value, which is 255, and we don't want any blue. Hopefully you got that right, and therefore say hello world, text red, text blue, and the text green should be working. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more command buttons. Okay. And we're going to call this one CMD Bold on and the caption for that is bold and for the other command button we're going to call it cmd bold off I'm sure you can see where this is going and the caption is bold off okay now the reason we're looking at this is because we're going to be looking at boolean values now so, again, it's the label message that we need to um, change. So, LBL text area dot. Now, we're looking at a property called font bold. Okay. And font bold has two values, true or false. It's either bold or it's not bold, basically. So, we want the ball to be on, in this case, true. And there you see Visual Basic helping you out again. It shows you what values font bold property can, can be. So if we just check that, say hello world, bold. And you'll see that it changes. Everything's working fine. Okay. I just end the program. What I would like you to do for the next part of this program is write the code behind the bold off command button that's just been created and we'll check back to see how you got on with that okay thank you